So welcome back to another video down here at Elite Performance Golf Studios. Um, so I've been away for a little bit. I had COVID for a bit. So now coming back fresh, ready to start again, get back into doing some more content. And today we're going to be talking about iron shaft weight. Now, a lot of my previous videos, we've been looking at kind of more of that strictly numbers kind of format where head to head, and I just show you the difference in data on quad. So it's not so much real world kind of fitting scenarios, it's more as how does one thing compare to another thing. Today's gonna to be a little bit more of a fitting kind of scenario where we're gonna be testing out different shaft weights on quad and I'm gonna be discussing the different variables that we would look at and how we would go about fitting you and finding that best iron shaft weight to hopefully help you play your best golf. So let's do it. So for this test, we're gonna be using four different shafts, all Nippon shafts, obviously all very different weights. And down at the bottom, we're gonna start with the Nippon 950 Neo, stiff, so this is a 98 gram raw uncut shaft. Then we're gonna jump up to the Modus 105 stiff, which is a 106.5 gram raw uncut. And then from there, I'm gonna jump up into the Modus 120X. Now I'm going X, not S, because in the Modus line, the 120 stiff's actually a 114, and the X is a 120, so I wanna make that jump up to 120. And then going up into the Modus 130X, again X, because it's 129, I believe. So although they're slightly different flexes, this is not so much a flex test, obviously, it's a weight test, overall weight. And actually, for most amateurs, I really believe that the weight of the iron shaft is more important than the flex. And we'll discuss that later on as we go through. We'll touch on what we're gonna look at, all the different variables. So yeah, another interesting test, so uh, let's dive in. Right, so what are we actually looking at when we're talking about fitting someone for an iron shaft, specifically weight? So the number one thing is control. That's all I'm bothered about is control. Does this iron in its entirety now feel like you have the most control possible. We're not really talking about maximizing speed. I mean, okay, yeah, speed is great. When it comes to drivers and things like that, we're really trying to get the most speed out of it. Irons, yeah, speed's great, but we need control. We wanna be maximizing the consistency of strike. We wanna be maximizing the kind of distance judgment front to back. We wanna be reducing the miss from left to right. And there's multiple things that we're gonna look at and obviously test during a fitting, which I'll touch on as we go through the video today in terms of what we're looking at to give you guys some tips. But yeah, first up, I'm gonna start hitting a set with the, uh, the, the Neo 950, 98 gram stiff. Uh, swing weight of this is C9 at standard length and I'll touch on the others as we go through. So let's get hitting. Oh, also I'm using the Mizuno 223 head. So it's gonna be the same head on every shaft to keep that consistent as we go through. So yeah, let's do it. Right. So the pins out there at 182 over a forced carry, there's a big lake that runs, well, it's just, it's just a massive lake in front of us, to be honest. Um, and the bin's right tucked at the front, so it's lovely. It's a lovely hole. Right. So I've had a few warm-ups, but we're gonna get put the pressure on first shot with the uh, with the Neo. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it wasn't terrible, it's a little pushy, but right edge of the green. We, we'd always take that on this hole, we take that. So swing speed is obviously going to be a factor. For me, it is not the number one factor when it comes to shaft weight. Really, it's gonna be tempo, strength. So it kind of, if you're, like for me, I'm, got quite a quick swing, but I'm not like a really big, strong, muscly guy. I'm not very strong. So for me, as soon as generally I go into a 130, it's just way too much effort for me. I feel like I really have to swing. Everything starts moving about too much. I lose kind of my time in it. Just doesn't feel comfortable. Really doesn't feel comfortable. Whereas this straight away, it feels great to me. Like it feels, it feels really nice. Like it feels easy and, you know, but maybe a bit light. Maybe. We'll see. So 
We have a better one. Sit. Definitely taking out all day long. Shot two. And again, I'm not really going to be deleting any. So this is going to be, like I said at the beginning, more of a fitting scenario. So it's not, I'm just going to delete all the bad ones and show you how this performs. It's actually going to be, well, how am I reacting to it? What's the consistency like? What's the strike like? What's the dispersion pattern like? You know, as me as a bit of a better player, again, I can tell you if it's just a rubbish swing. So I might delete any if they're horrendous, as we might do in a fitting scenario. But for the most part, this is going to be fitting scenario. And that's that. But uh, yeah, those first two, I mean, both on the green, I would uh, I'd be taking them on a hole like this. It tends to want to leak a little bit, but I don't actually mind that. I mean, again, right, just right edge of the green, I'm taking that all day long. It's typically my miss is left. I don't really mind seeing something finishing kind of just right side of the green. I don't, I really don't mind that. It's way safer than a big pulley hooky draw. That's for sure. And that wasn't bad. Sit down. Oh, beautiful. We'll take that. It does feel very comfortable to swing, to be fair. It does. I mean, it's interesting how a light shaft can sometimes make it feel heavier, but it's just because there's nothing there. So you just feel all this mass down here, but nothing really here. Especially with this shaft, it feels like, yeah, just very light, really. <laughs> it's actually, I don't mind. I don't mind it, you know. But if you had someone who, you know, say a big, big rugby player, big six foot, for 17 stone guy. I mean, he's probably gonna pick this up and <laughs> just will not even feel it whatsoever. So those guys tend to kind of have quite quick tempos as well. Now tempo is something that come, comes into it a lot. It's not, it's not how fast you swing it, it's how you swing it fast. So for me, again, I'm generally quite smooth and laggy and whippy or, um, you know, someone who could be very quick and very choppy is gonna load the, sh the shaft super hard. And typically, those sort of people are going to respond to more weight because if you're loading it hard and you're swinging fast, if it's super light and you've just got no idea where it is and what's going on. So strength and tempo are two of the biggest aspects when it comes to shaft weight. Well, that was a little toey, but... Oh, go in the hole. Break! Oh. Again, it's a good miss. 183, slightly toe side, but we are definitely going to take that. So how many shots that now? That is six shots. And it's very interesting. I'll <laughs> show you up on the map the dispersion. There's like three right next to the hole and three just kind of on the right, far right edge of the green. So, I mean, all of those I'm taking, all of them. Oh, nice. Head straight, well, marginally right again, but 180 carry, it's about what we want to see. Good numbers, good strike. Yeah, it's good, it's good. Okay, so we're gonna hit one more, but on total, I mean, it's actually been okay. Like strike pattern's been decent. Dispersion, I mean, it's been two or maybe three in the bunker right, but everything else is hit green. Uh, and that's 11 shots now, so I'm gonna hit one more. Maybe not quite as consistent or as good as I'd like, but it's certainly not bad because I'm not just coming back from COVID and I'm not feeling like I'm swinging my best. It's not the most comfortable I've ever felt, really. It's getting just leaky. I just feel it getting a little bit, a bit too far behind me. Okay, I'm going to hit one more. I'm going to hit one more. Very interesting miss there. It's not... Certainly not my normal, not my normal miss. I mean, it's decent. It's not my best, but again, right edge of the green. We'll take it. We will take it. Right. Do I jump up to the 130 or do I go 105 and work my way up? I'm going to jump straight into 130. 
So that is the dispersion map from the first lot of shots. So you can see definitely a little bit of a right side pattern. We've got three really nice shots in there, but if anything, maybe just leaking a little bit right, possibly. But uh, yeah, on the whole, not, not terrible. Right, so pretty happy with the results from uh, the Neo 950, to be fair. Um, dispersion was decent, a little bit leaky right, if anything, which for me, I don't actually mind. Again, multiple other things we could look at there. I'm probably be a little bit toe down, maybe. Uh, actually, I was 0.6 on the last one. I don't know, on average, go a little bit more upright, things like that. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> so we're going to dive straight into the 130X, so 130 grams. Now, for me, historically, I've not loved heavy feeling shafts. I tend to feel like I have to pull on them a lot and then I'll get kind of a little bit that way and I tend to slide which is my bad habit and then I can flip it or get underneath it kind of brings in a bit of a two-way miss so yeah be interesting to see how this one goes same length and we're now at d2 swing weight so we could come up from c9 to d2 so it's very noticeable very noticeable up towards the handle section the weight just feels more overall and it definitely feels yeah just like a board now after hitting that <laughs> That Neo feels very, very stiff. So, see how we get on with this, with this little baby. Not bad, a little bit thin I'd say, but yeah, a little bit thin. And that was not good. That was thin as well. Getting away with them. I wouldn't be getting away with them if I was uh, pulling them, but that ball speed is awful. Absolutely awful. Just not striking it well at all. Better strike. Getting leaky, which is interesting. <laughs> Definitely got a bit of a right pan going on today. Again, I mean, on this hole, you'd always aim right, wouldn't you? I mean, it's... Big lake to the left. Well, short, short left would be a nightmare. Short right, you're all good. So we're kind of aiming right, kind of right middle of the green, I'd say. Which is nice, okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna try and change my swing, I guess, because I just wanna see how, how I react to the clubs more than anything. So I'm gonna keep my swing pretty much the same. More solid strike again. Nice and straight, that one, we'll take that. All day long, that 180 carry, 177. Yep. Does it feel as comfortable? Definitely feels like more work. Like it feels like, yeah, just, just not as comfortable to swing, to be honest, like that. And that for me, when I'm in fittings, I'm always asking people, how does it feel? And even if sometimes they're close, like, which one would you rather be out on course now? You know, 18th hole, club champs, coming into a green, which one would you rather have in your hand? And that generally, you know, that, well, that's the one you're more, more confident with. And that is such an important thing, I think, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> it's a very good horrible. That's a, the best shot so far with this. This did not feel good, that, but great result. Great result. A little bit necky. At all. Love that. I guess it didn't feel like my best shot, to be honest. So maybe a touch low. But again, it's not, it's not bad. Does it feel better? Which one would I rather play out of those? I've got to say the Neo. I've got to say the lighter one, to be honest, at the minute. Just purely based on feel. Actually, the dispersion is very similar. I've got three kind of starting to hug around the pin, and then there's three or four just right side of the green sneaking into the bunker. It's very, very similar to be honest, but purely based on feel, for me, it'd be the Neo. Hit the flag. Woo. Love it. Again, that's just, that's just my swing getting better, I feel anyway. Starting to stay in it a bit more. I not tend to get a bit, ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> ooh. Right. 
And we got 21 shots. I'll have a couple more of this and then we'll move, we'll move on. Trying to get into the groove a little bit now. Kick left. Go on, get down that slope. Go on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it felt a little left. Uh, not too bad. A little left, he says. It's literally going to... Yeah, a little left. We'll take that as a little left. <laughs> Love that. I mean, it's interesting. It's purely based on that actual set, that, those results, that dispersion. It was clearly better. Like, definitely started to find my grouping more around the flag. Still a few leaking a little bit right, but in general, it was better. <sighs> but for me, like the feel just was not as good. I don't think I would feel as comfortable stood over a shot with this rather than the Neo, personal preference. So let's move on to 120. Just show you the dispersion of the 130. So obviously that's in yellow. I mean, you can see there's a good few kind of grouped around the flag there. Um, and then a few out leaky right as well, but I mean, it, it's slightly better. It's not a dissimilar pattern whatsoever, but there was a few more hugging the flag there. So, I mean, yeah, you'd have to say slightly better. Okay, so right into the 120, Modus 120X. Um, this normally is quite a nice kind of area for me, sort of about 110 to 120, I typically tend to kind of like. So watch me hit the worst set out of all of them. Get the excuses in soon. I'm quite hungry, it's starting to feel a bit shaky. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Again, I, I really, I touch on feel and comfort a lot when it comes to kind of shaft weight and just feel. I think that if you're stood over something, you pick it up, you have it in your hand, and it just feels right, I just think you've got more chance of making a better swing. Like, that for me is so big when it comes to shafts. All about feel. Right, I haven't hit any in the water yet. Again, I should not have said that. Should not have said that. So let's keep that nice run going. No water shots. Last trace, it looks nice, doesn't it? No, the strike felt okay, to be fair. Again, a tiny bit leaky, but keeping that pattern going. Right edge of the green. We'll take it. And it actually felt quite nice for this swing, to be honest. Felt, yeah. A little bit lighter, a little bit easier to move, quite smooth. I think probably the 120S would be ideal for me, to be fair, which again, I've played KBS Tour 120 stiff for quite a while, and I just really like that shaft. Feels smooth, feels nice, not too heavy, not too much work. Just feels good. Right, in the hole, come on. That was, again, average, really. It was not the best, but not the worst, but. Right edge of the green. Okay, a little bit nicer. Better swing. Kick off, go on, get down there. Go on, go on. Oh yes, love that slope. Love that slope. And again, I mean, when it comes to fitting, if you're hitting, say, 10 shots with a club, the likelihood is, I think that's right, the likelihood is you, you're probably going to just make a few bad swings, a couple of bad swings. Obviously, depends on your kind of uh, level. If you're off plus two, maybe not. If you're off 20, then you're probably going to make a few bad swings, and that's regardless of the club. So, I mean, that's where kind of judgment comes in, feel, feedback, talking to you, kind of looking at results, kind of really we're trying to make the best assumption we can of what we think is going to be the best equipment to help you play better. I mean, that, that's literally... That's it, pretty much. So if you are a high handicapper, yes, you will be con slightly inconsistent with anything, but we want to try and give you the best chance we can to at least have the right numbers when you hit it well, and just to give you that feel, that confidence that, you know, at least makes you think you are gonna make a good swing. I think, you know, it's a little bit of a, little bit of a head, head start, a little bit of a chance. Right, this is uh, probably the worst dispersion so far, so it's going, uh, going well, really. Stroke felt nice, just getting a little leaky. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. Hmm. 
decent. I mean, I'm not going to grumble. Not going to grumble. Yeah, the strike pattern's very centered. Very centered, which I love. I really like that. Catch that little slope. Get down behind that flag. Oh yeah. In that little gully. We like it. Right, I don't know how many shots that's been with that. It's probably the most toey one so far. The strike pattern's been great with this. Really like that. Uh, 38. So what was I hitting? Kind of 12 of each-ish. Oh, hit one more and then. Hit one more. Oh, this is the one. This is the one. Could be. Drawing round. Sit. Again. In that little gully, we're going to take that. Take that every day of the week. Very nice. Strike pattern. Strike pattern was really good with this. Dispersion was a little bit worse. It was a little bit, maybe more left and right. Just... But yeah, I probably feel like just based on the strike pattern alone, this one's probably winning so far for me, I'd say. And feel, obviously. I like the feel of it. <laughs> okay, so we've got the dispersion with the 120 in the blue. So again, pretty similar. I mean, one little outlier there. Apart from that, a few dotted around the flag. And then, yeah, just a few leaking out to the right side of the green cup in the bunker. So maybe marginally the worst dispersion wise. I mean, it's not much in it, just a little bit. Um, but yeah, the strike pattern for me was, uh, was much better. Right, finally, the 105, or 106.5. Um, raw weights, actually, it's you know, probably as low 100s. Um, so yeah, again, this is now swing weight in just under D1. So I quite like generally about D1, something like that. Okay, actually, this to me feels in the hand the best so far, I'd say, because there's enough weight that I can feel it, but there's not loads of weight up here and it doesn't feel super stout or bawdy like the 130 did when you pick it up. It feels just like it's an absolute board, feel really, really stout up in the handle section. This feels really nice actually, which is something that I love that feedback. Someone turns around to me in a fitting, as soon as I've given a club and goes, that feels, that feels really good. That to me is a great sign when it comes to just feeling the overall balance and weight of a club. Right, so is this going to be the best? Don't know. Let's find out. Certainly does feel good in the hand. Just kind of, just yeah, it just feels right. Cue the, uh, cue the shank straight into the lake in front of me. Oh, no, just a standard slight push to start off with. That's pretty... Uh, Pretty much the norm, to be fair. Right edge of the green. Love it. Again, decent strike, kind of, that cannot be right. Otherwise, I'm sure that would have gone way further right than that. Yeah, it felt, uh, felt good. Felt quite easy, I guess, to manage. That felt like a nice swing. Dead straight down the line. Down into that little gully. Certainly love that little gully. Maybe that should be the case of who wins. How many or which got the most into the gully? Huh? Gully? Is that even the right word? I don't know. Dip. <laughs> we'll, go, we'll go with dip. <laughs> yeah, a nice centered strike. Felt like a nice swing. Sit down. Yeah, we love it. Another one in the dip. And seven nine carries. Pretty much the benchmark for a good strike. Yeah, nice. Good. Yeah, like that. One twenty seven ball speed. It's decent for a nice game in swing. Certainly like that. Oh, 
felt like I had to say that a little bit in my hands, but I felt like I could. Now, that's quite important, I think, that that one felt like Got a little bit droppy with the wrist, a little bit relaxed with the wrist maybe. It got, the club head felt like it got a little bit behind me, so I felt like I had to just save it at the last minute with my hands. But I felt like the weight of the club kind of allowed me to do that. So definitely a positive, and we'll take that. Get 175 carry straight down the line. So it's one that I felt like I had to save it a bit, so definitely a positive there. So far, so good with the, uh, the 106.5. <laughs> This feels like a bit freer and easier swinging this, to be honest with you. It just feels, yeah, it just feels comfortable. Again, just had to save that a little bit with my hands there, but it was a good strike on the green. Launch condition is pretty solid. Ball speed's good. And yeah, just it feels like I've got a little bit of kick there as well. I can just feel that a little bit of a little bit of load in the shaft, which I actually quite like. Efficiency is good. Yeah, it's nice. Liking it. Liking it. Come on, let's get a couple more in that little, that little gully. It's not going to be in the in the dip, but it's dead straight. We like straight. Again, strike pattern's decent. I'm kind of gathering around that center. Everything looks very low, by the way, because where I have the dots, I have them quite high up the face. So actually a perfect strike might be kind of, you know, we're looking third to fourth groove, so probably looking eight to 10 mil low kind of thing on the face, on quad. That'd be about the ideal place to strike, strike an iron. It's quite, it looks like I'm thinning everything, but I'm not. <laughs> quick on that one but again I've just felt like I could control it a little bit better I'm going to be taking that shot every day of the week so it feels like when I'm making my bad swings or something that kind of my timing or my sink gets a little off I'm just feels like I'm actually able to save it more with this which okay, it's definitely not not a bad thing we're all going to make a few dodgy swings and this just feels like I can I know where it is a little bit more, and I've, I can just save it that little bit more. It's not bad at all. So that was definitely a little bit off the bottom. But again, like that is a miss. I'm taking that every day of the week. I mean, finished at 180 on the green, probably just past pin high, but dead straight. I mean, that's, that's a great miss. Really good miss. It's not how good your good one is, that'll take care of itself. How bad is your bad one? It's always the thing. That felt like a great strike. Again, just right edge of the green. Taking that all day long. So, this for me so far is a pretty clear, easy winner. I feel like the timing's good with it, I feel like I can control it, I feel like I know where it is. Now, I love that true temper saying, play the lightest shaft you feel you can control. Probably could control the Neo, but maybe sometimes I just lose it a little bit in the swing. So I feel like this is kind of really that bottom end of what I feel I can control and I feel comfortable in. Um, so I'm going to hit a few more with this and then we'll take a look at the results. A little hold off you one, felt good. Yeah, I like it. Like it. There you go, this is the one. It's going in the hole. Oh, that could be perfect. Go on, get left, get left. Right. Very good one to end on that, because I'm getting tired. So, let's take a look at some numbers and we'll kind of uh, recap everything. Again, have a, look, a look, little look at the dispersion on that one, which again, I'll show you on the comparison, which is pink. But you can definitely see quite a lot gathering there, quite a lot there. There was a couple that started to stray a little bit right, um, but for the most part, yeah, it was uh, very, very solid that. 
Okay, so time to dive into the numbers and have a little recap. Now, as you probably would have seen on a lot of my previous videos, or if you follow me on Instagram for a while, I'm really not expecting shafts to change launch conditions, especially when we're talking steel iron shafts. So, I mean, if we really dive into these numbers, again, I haven't deleted any of these whatsoever. This is just kind of as a fitting scenario would be really. Um, ball speed, I mean, again, there's really not, not much. And, uh, again, if you really want to say, the winner, the 105 at 124.7, but 124.1, 124.3, and then 123.3. So again, the heaviest there was actually the least ball speed for me, which again shows you know, it didn't quite strike as well as consistently. But again, it's not, not a huge amount in it. Launch, again, you're looking at 17, 17, 17, 17. So, I mean, for me, looking at those launch conditions, there's not enough to go purely based on launch conditions. One's way better for you than the other. It just it never really works like that. And if you're in a fitting scenario and you're seeing a huge discrepancy from like one steel shaft to another, like it's just your set, the way you've hit that set, how you've delivered it, which yeah, is, a, is obviously part of it, of course, but it, it, um, never gonna be a huge difference is what I'm saying. Strike for strike. <clears throat> Now spin, 66, 65, 66, 66. Again, that's just so tight, really. Um, one thing that we will obviously notice is the standard deviation was tightest uh, with the 105 at 231, um, followed by the, uh, the 120 and 98 were pretty much the same at 305, 306. And then the highest was with the 130. So again, least ball speed with the 130 and the biggest spin standard deviation, which is probably one of the biggest defining factors in how well did you strike that, how consistently did you strike that, because spin spikes goes up and down a lot based on how you're striking it. So the standard deviation on spin is obviously a good, a good factor to look at is how consistent you were with that, with that club. And then, yeah, I mean, carry 175, 174, 175, 176. So again, there's no difference in yardage, which again, I would expect because we're not talking different lofts, different club heads, we're talking shafts, which do not change launch spin, ball speed, that much strike for strike. Um, again, you can see that the standard deviation was the tightest with the 105, three yards of carry, um, four, five, four. So again, not much in the others, but again, we're looking at standard deviation with carry and spin with the best ball speed, all 105, which kind of backs up what I was saying when I was swinging it, it felt the best, it felt like it was just gelling with me, I felt like I was hitting nicely, the dispersion seemed good, there wasn't really any terrible bad ones. If they were, if it felt like a bad swing, it wasn't really a terrible result which is just, that is like summing it up in a nutshell, really. Like, that, that is what we want. So we'll have a little look at the club data, see if there's anything weird kind of going mm. on in the club data. Now, obviously, one of the first things that people will say is, well, can you swing a lighter shaft faster? Yeah, maybe marginally. Again, a lot of that's going to come down to your strength as well. If you're really weak, maybe very old, something like that, if I give you a 130, it might just be too much to handle. You might lose a fair bit of speed. But for me, typically in most fittings, I don't see that being a big big factor, to be honest. So club speed, we can see with the lightest was 94, with the heaviest was 93. And then the 105 at basically 94, and then the 120 right in between at 93 and a half. So that's only one mile an hour in it. It's not much really, is it? It's really not, uh, not a lot at all. Efficiency was again, all the same. Slightly lower actually with the, uh, the 98, but again, a hair, a hair in it. Um, Dynamic loft, 25, 25, 25, 24 and a half. Again, half a degree in it. Really not much, is it? But again, it did kind of go highest was the, uh, the 98 gram. The lowest was actually the 105. So I quite like that as well. Um, dynamic lie. I mean, yeah, we were the most toed down. I mean, that is kind of exactly what we'd expect to see. Actually, we were pretty much zero with the 130. So probably wasn't really kind of drooping as much, so obviously if a shaft playing like that, if, as we come into impact, it's gonna droop, it's gonna do that, so the toe will go more down, the softer the shaft is typically. So the 130 was zero, the 120 was half a degree toe down, the 105 was 1.2 toe down, and then the 98, 1.4 toe down. So the most toe down with the softest shaft, the least toe down with the stiffest shaft, makes sense. Uh, and then the other two variables, the big ones really, path and angle of attack. But again, I mean, I got slightly more inside with the lighter shaft, slightly less inside with the heavier shaft. It's kind of one degree. Again, really, it's not much there. Angle of attack, six, that's never really changing much. Angle of attack, 
path, maybe dropping the slightly lighter one inside a little bit more. Kind of did feel that it was a little bit easier just to get it to drop. I mean, everyone kind of reacts differently in that sort of scenario. Um, kind of, you know, you'd say possibly if it's a heavier club, a heavier club might be easier to drop. But for me, I just felt I had more control with the lighter shaft. It was easier to do what I wanted to do with it. Um, so yeah, again, it's really not, uh, not too much to pick apart uh, on that, uh, that screen there, to be honest with you. So yeah, I would leave you with, if you're going for a fit in and you're talking shaft weights and you wanna know well, what's the best weight for me, what's the best flex for me, what I'd really say is just make sure you go to an in-depth fit in where you're gonna get a good chance to test a wide variety of things to see how you react to it. Because that is ultimately the number one thing. How do you react to that shaft? How does it feel to you? We're not all the same. We all swing differently, have different tempos, have different abilities, different strength levels. And as I said at the first beginning section of this video, God, my head scrambled. Still, <laughs> still feel a bit of COVID's got, uh, got me going a bit. Um, is kind of speed is an element, but it's definitely not number one. It would be tempo and strength, really. Tempo being how much you load the shaft, how much you're going to affect that throughout. Obviously, the heavier shaft, the less you're probably going to affect it. And then, yeah, strength. So how heavy are you? If you're a bodybuilder, probably going to need a pretty heavy shaft or you're not going to feel much else. Tiny little uh, slim dude like me, probably 130 is going to be a bit of work. 105 might feel very comfortable, might just suit your timing great, and that would be the best for you. So, uh, yeah, I hope that's kind of answered any questions on that topic. Um, try to do it pretty in depth as, as always. <laughs> um, so yeah, any questions, comment below and I'll get back to you. Let me know what you thought. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next one.